with you. You can forget Hashem, but Hashem cannot forget you. You can lose your connection, your communication with Him, but He never loses His communication with you. When you forget about Him, suddenly a friend will come along the way and will tell you, and another person suddenly going to send you a positive message on, on your mobile and, and going to wake you back up to life. And someone in the street suddenly going to mention a thing that's going to hit your memory and going to open your eyes again to search for Hashem. Why? Because the wide world is full with His honor. And honor means coverings. He's covering Himself in all the people. He's covering Himself in nature, in houses, in furnitures. He's covering Himself in books. And the spark of life that is hidden inside creation is the Creator Himself. That He is the source of life. And you should look for the life. You should look for the good. You should look for the positive light that is shining from within every particle of this creation. And to connect yourself to the good with no fear in your eyes. You should not be scared from non-Jews, from different nations. You don't need to be scared. The Torah is commanding us, Lota Gurumi Pneish. You're not allowed to be afraid of no one. You should be proud of yourself and you should go and spread the truth among all of your surroundings, not to be afraid. Our challenge in this generation is to remove our inner fear, our inner obstacle that is holding us back from connecting ourselves from within to our true source, to the one that we can recognize. When I was a child, I didn't see those things. I was not able to recognize that light. But still, even though that I grew up in a secular environment, secular family, something within was always alive. I felt that something is different in Jerusalem Friday afternoon. It's not the same world. You cannot find that feeling no other place in the world, like in Jerusalem at 6 p.m., at 5 p.m., Quiet is coming down to the world. You can feel it.